Hi everybody, my name is Max Maker and today I'm going to build a little boat caddy for my friends. They recently bought a garden near the lake and I thought I should make them a little caddy so they have it easier to carry it around. Initially I thought I would make a little plywood uh, design that I could cut on my CNC and then I could share the files with all of you, but since I had all these aluminium scraps left I might as well use them since they were already cut. I started by cutting the holes in the left and the right sides and I think you can adapt this design to all kinds of materials and tools that you might have available. And this big hole is going to be for the axle, so for the axle I'm going to use just a threaded rod. I can get it in a hardware store and I don't have to machine the threads at the end, so it's convenient. So now that the sides are done, I could focus on these beams that go from left to right. And I'm going to put three screws into this middle piece. And first of all, I just mark loosely where these screws have to be, so I don't flip them over and accidentally drill the holes on the wrong side. And that's pretty much all the holes drilled that I needed. At least for now. Now it's time to cut the threads inside these profiles and they already come with the right inside diameter. So you can just put a spiral bit in there and cut the threads. So I really wasn't sure if I should use stainless steel bolts or just regular bolts that are zinc coated. I went for zinc coated bolts because my thought was stainless steel is just too soft and if they corrode with the aluminium anyway, uh, which they probably will because they're two different metals, the heads will just snap off in 10 years time if somebody takes this apart or maybe 20 years. But with these zinc coated mild steel screws they won't break off and they might get rusty but you will still get them loose. So And I had them lying around. So that made the decision easier. And this caddy is not supposed to go in the water anyway, so why am I even worried? Feel free to let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong. So at this point I took a step back and looked at the whole structure and I thought the support arms at the top, they looked a little bit flimsy, they need some kind of support. And I was thinking how I could add the support and it would have involved cutting quite a lot of angles uh, for this tubing. So instead I used this piece of aluminium ribbon and I just put it in the vise, bend it to place and it worked perfectly well. I clamped it down where I wanted to have it and then I marked the position of the extra and then I could cut it out on the bandsaw. So um, this almost looks like a custom piece of metal but it's really just bent into shape the way it wanted to bend into shape. I didn't plan this out, you know. I was really surprised that this worked so well. And the bandsaw made quick work of cutting off the extra and then I used uh, some files and sandpaper to really smooth over these corners. In engineering there's this rule that says if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. I think it's Murphy's law and that basically means something eventually will go wrong with time. So somebody in the lifetime of this piece will cut himself on this piece of metal if I don't take care of these corners. So um, that's something I always keep in mind. Also with wire connections. If a wire connection could come loose, it probably will come loose. Especially if you add more and more wire collections. Yeah, I'm thinking about my hydrofoil right now. And the end of the profiles also get end caps that give them a really nice finished look. And I use these little webbing tie downs, I guess. They're made just to hold down webbing so they can't slide around in here. And I didn't use any T-nuts or anything like that. I just drilled straight into the frame so they can't slide around and it's just easier to assemble. It saves a lot of time. And for these straps, I used really long straps. These are four meters long, which is about the length of two and a half persons. And to give some cushion to this, I didn't have any carpet, but I had this fake grass that some people put on their balconies here in Germany. <laughs> and I had it in my workshop lying around on the floor. Time to add the wheels. And I was lucky that the insides of these profiles just have the right diameter for an M12 threaded rod. I was quite lucky to get them in just about in between these two screws on either side. And I used a little bit of cutting oil to push them through with a cordless drill. These wheels come from a golf caddy.
And there we go. This whole build took me about three hours, so I think this is something that's actually worth building yourself versus buying it, because it costs about eight euros, so three hours of time is not too bad, especially if you have the materials lying around like I did. My friends are really happy, so that's the most important part. And if you like these kind of videos, also check out my other ones and subscribe to this channel. I hope I inspired you to build something yourself today. As you see, it's not that difficult. And see you next time. My name is Max Maker, and I make all kinds of stuff.